Baby, so Miss Wanda, honey, is out here trying to drag Mel and Martell for coming for Tisha and Marceau's marriage. Okay, and she calls Ariane a garden tool. Now, why would you call that thing a garden tool? What's wrong with you, Miss Wanda? <laughs> Miss Wanda said, honey, you better rack his size. I don't apologize. Okay. And then I saw um her video and you know she's going in on Mel and Martel, especially Martel, um, who accused Marceau of having an affair with over twenty women, honey. What's wrong with the country folk? That reminded me of my dad, peoples. It's women, Miss Wanda. Okay, it's already plural. They don't need you to add a S or E S or nothing. I was like, oh child, just the ghetto. Okay, adult the ghetto. She just went to ghetto for me. I prefer not to even speak to her. I d I don't even speak to her con. I know that's right, Miss Van, honey, Miss Van. <laughs> I'll never forget that scene with Melody and Miss Van was like, she being ghetto with me. <laughs> she looked so offended and confused, honey. I am here. <laughs> and Miss Wanda is a fool too, honey. Oh, Lord. It's just a mess, right? It's a mess. And you know what? Um, I just looked at that video with Marceau. He's... Um, did an interview with Dustin Ross. Dustin Ross took over for Carlos King and Dustin interviewed Marceau and they were talking about how Martel really crossed the line this season. That's what Marceau was saying. And he takes things too far, but it's like y'all bash Melody, your wife included, for making a Telltale Signs uh, song. Y'all call that male bashing. You got Maurice talking about, yeah, I, I uh, supported your song and gave you some streams. You were talking about my guy. That guy is a liar, a cheetah, a deceiver. He was out here cheating on his wife, and y'all was sitting up here, like, going on dates with him while he was doing it. Make it make sense. So if he did all that shiggity to her, what the hell you think you go get? I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all, I keep reiterating how other people do other people is how they will do you, Sonny. Okay, it's going to be foggy and rainy and windy, honey, when Moses is done with her, honey. Okay? But listen, but yeah, he sitting up there telling Dustin, oh, he just goes so far. What about all that stuff he was over there doing to Mel? And y'all was okay with it. And y'all was calling her bitter and she need to forgive. And you got Maurice uh, saying on his last interview with Dustin, oh, well, Mel need to apologize to him too. And I hate when, this is what I hate about life, right? Like people can do you all the way wrong backstab you, betray you, sabotage you, like they can really try to do you some harm and people will sit up there. Have you ever been at work, okay, or had maybe a dispute with a neighbor or anything? What people have the tendency to do is they have a tendency to blame you for what other people have did to you. Make it make sense. Like, I had some man tell me, well, both of y'all don't like each other. I'm like, motherfucker, ain't we in here for what she did to me? I'm the victim. But by the time they, it's all said and done, honey, they done made me the villain and she the damn victim. Make it make sense. No. Okay? I hate when people do that. Well, you wrong too. No, well, you ain't perfect either. We talking about specifically this one situation. Okay, and the person did me wrong. I am the victim. And I'm sure that's how Melody feel with this situation. She's the victim, but everybody want her to take responsibility and accountability for how Martel treated her. And he the one that did all the damn wrong. Okay? You got Kimmy, uh, two wrongs don't make it right. And I was just like, child. But I didn't feel bad for Marceau because that's what your ass get. 
with your big head ass. Okay, big toenail head. But uh, what y'all think about, I have forgot to mention in one part, that uh, Martel is trying to accuse Tisha of messing with one of his friends, and then he said that him and Marceau was messing with women together, and honey, them Scott brothers look a bit nervous. Even Courtney said, uh, y'all should, uh, I would be quiet if I was y'all, honey, because Martel got the tea, he got the juice, and he about to spill it, honey. Okay. But yeah, Miss Wanda is out here just dragging mail and, you know. And then, this is the thing. Let's get back to Martel because she, you know, was dragging him too. Um, Miss Wanda, you can't talk about, oh, well, y'all ain't got no proof and Tisha ain't leaving that man without proof. Even if she had proof, you know damn well she ain't going nowhere she is not strong like that that's why i'm not here for all that mouth because if you talk that shit you need to be able to back it up okay that's what the old folks say honey and that's what i say too child but anyways wasn't it you miss wanda on the show questioning um marceau and Letitia's marriage all throughout all the seasons on love and marriage huntsville didn't you say ain't that that is your big ass back that's what you said to marceau you accused him of cheating. You was the one putting stuff up in your daughter's brain about her man cheating on her. You the one that be believing all the rumors about your son-in-law cheating on your daughter. Don't talk about my daughter. <laughs> Shawnee, like, she talked about Shawnee's, like, that's my daughter, that's my kid, like, like, Leo, like, like, Shawnee, Shawnee's is a good girl, like, she doesn't bother anybody. <laughs> that damn Evelyn child. <laughs> But, yeah, like, you was the one, Miss Wanda. You can't accuse other people of doing stuff when you guilty of doing it, too. You you definitely tried to ruin your daughter's marriage, okay? Because you was the one bringing all that tea back to her, okay? Make it make sense. Now you, now you um, all up in arms, okay? All up with the bad vocabulary, honey, because we know you can't speak, can't spell worth a damn. You just all up in your feelings and you all offended that people believe that Marceau cheated on Tisha, but you are the one that really, like, brought that to the table. You kept questioning your daughter like she was in court, child. You you are the one that's been scrutinizing their marriage. It's, it hasn't just been Mel and Martel um, and Kiki. And then she getting on my nerves with Kiki because she trying to... I saw some other videos she did um, no, this is the same video, my bad. She says that Mel is responsible, you guys, for Kiki not being here. She gets on Mel for using Kiki to destroy her family. Your family was already destroyed. Where the hell is the accountability? Why do you put Tisha and Kiki against each other? You've been doing it since they was kids. Like, you played into that. You can't blame Mel for that. They already had a really messed up relationship. Okay? Their relationship was just already damaged. Uh, Kiki felt backstabbed by your daughter. You don't never talk about that. You just always want to bring up, yeah, and that's why Kiki ain't here. And, you know, she can't speak for herself no more. But you did that, Melody. You did it. You, you, um, you turned her against her cousin and you destroyed the fam. The family is already destroyed. Okay? Marceau and Tisha did not want Kiki on this show. They didn't want her to better her life. Um, if you want the best for somebody, you're not going to reduce them down to an addiction. You're not going to weaponize their vulnerabilities and use them against them and try to use them to exploit them. That's not what good people do. That's what your son-in-law did. That's what your daughter did. That's why... Uh, 
Kiki ended up taking that um that test. We know what test it was. She had to take a test to like prove that she wasn't doing nothing because it was your daughter. Yeah, I know she's back on that stuff. I just know. I just know. And all that, I just know what I know is her being manipulative, her being vindictive, her being spiteful, her trying to manipulate the the viewing audience in you know, and like Tisha is just, ooh, she don't get called out enough. Okay. It's, I think she's so good at playing the victim. It's like people don't be catching it. I be catching her ass. Okay. I told you she got it, got that, um, nasty woman's disease, honey. Got that, uh, imposter syndrome. <laughs> Not the nasty woman's disease, child, but it's that good old imposter syndrome, honey, okay? But yeah, what is, what is that with Miss Wanda? Child, why does remind me of women of Brewster Place? You didn't close your shades last night. I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> I don't know why this remind me of women of Brewster Place, child. There you were, standing there, <laughs> just as naked as you want to be, <laughs> calling to the other to tell you to put that book down. <laughs> every every neighborhood, honey, got a Miss Sophia. Okay, was it Miss Sophia or Miss Sophia? But she was a mess, just as messy as she could be. I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> I see you. I see you, Miss Wanda. I see ya. <laughs> okay, so apparently, honey, when Miss Wanda had that picture of Marceau's big ass back, some lady had sent her some messages saying that her and Marceau was fool I lying in some cheap ass motels. Because, honey, I guess they trying to say he ain't had no money because his money is tied up in lawsuits, honey. But you ain't heard it from me, okay? You ain't heard it from Miss Robinson, okay? But, yes, it, and it's like, do y'all believe that? Do y'all believe that? Put it, put it in the comments, okay? But, yeah, the lady got the saying that the friend was digmatized from Marceau. Mm-mm-mm. Child, let me see what the people think of Miss Wanda, honey. So, one person says Wanda is embarrassing and obsessed with Melody. Another person says this woman is too old for all of them. Her grandchildren should be embarrassed. Yes, they should, honey. Another person says Wanda needs to be sued by Melody S. Rogers. Another person says Wanda needs to stay in her lane. Another person says, we all know Martell was speaking on the two Scott brothers when he said the 20 women. Hell, let's, why stop now? I say 20 women. Put an S on it. <laughs> they all cheated together. Tisha and Kimmy both know this. Yeah, and they want to act like only Melody was in a burning house. Uh, Y'all was in some houses too. You just ain't called the fire department. And you ain't walked your ass out because neither one of y'all got a lick of sense. And both of them, I think, is male identified, especially for Kimmy to be, yeah, but even though he cheated, does that make it right for what Melody did? Melody had every damn right. Okay? She had every every damn right to uh, show a nigga how she come down the slide. I'm going to show you how a bitch come down the slide. Let me show you. <laughs> Remember Respution, honey? I'll show you how I come down the slide. Okay. Another person says, Wanda just ignorant and embarrassing, honey. Ooh, the sheriff is coming out, honey. I can hear him. I can feel him. <laughs> Another person says, Melody divorcing Martell triggers Wanda to her core because she has nothing to show for staying in her mess. Like Melody said, they are not the same. The money ain't the same. Nothing about Wanda can compete or compare to Melody. She wants to discredit Melody so her life choices look decent. Wanda is a crab in a bucket. Yeah, she is. She is, honey. But let's get to this story real quick on... um. 
that I got from Radar Online talking about Diddy and uh, Kim Porter. It says, Diddy's late ex-girlfriend Kim Porter detailed the alleged, you know what, that she suffered at the hands of the disgraced producer who fathered three of her children in a never before seen memoir. Now, y'all remember before she had um, passed, um, she was getting ready to come out with a book, and then all of a sudden she had passed. Like, all of that is just very suspicious. Okay, and I am side eyeing Diddy, because if he did all this stuff, then you already know. Okay, listen, you already know he probably done did some other stuff. Um, a source who wished to remain anonymous provided the document to RadarOnline.com and said it was found on Porter's long-lost flash drive. Ooh, okay. It was on her flash drive. It was given to the informant by someone very close to Kim and Diddy and was written in the months leading up to her sudden D.A. Th. Okay, I'm being. I'm trying to be very careful, you guys, because it's like every little thing that you say, honey. The people got a problem with it. Okay, we we will say her untimely demise. We'll say that the individual claim. While we have, while we have unable to what y'all can't write these damn sentences. While we have been unable to independently verify those claims, the 40-page manuscript, which we have received, which we have reviewed, I'm sorry, is filled with explosive anecdotes about the actress and model's time with rapper born Sean, Sean John Combs. His middle name, John? I thought that was just for that clothing line. In one chapter, Porter wrote about how the jealous rapper's short fuse made her walk on eggshells and recalled one instance where he allegedly sent her to the hospital after brutally B-E-A-T-I-N-G her with a chair. Ooh, child. Ooh. Porter was 47 years old, very young, when she, D-I-E-D, honey, at her home in Los Angeles shortly before midnight on November 15th, 2018, the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner listed her manner of D-E-A-T-H as natural and the cause as low bar pneumonia, a condition marked by inflammation and infection in the lungs. But unanswered questions surrounding her DEATH have resurfaced as allegations of violent behavior stack up against Diddy, including by another one of his exes, Cassie, along a federal, we ain't gonna say those words, investigation. Okay, so users on social media have even suggested Porter's D-E-A-T-H may have been a move intended to prevent the release of the memoir she never finished, in which our source said she discussed Diddy's alleged involvement in the M-U-R-D-E-R of Tupac Shakur. Oh, uh, and y'all know I love me some, some Tupac, honey. Oh, he better not had nothing to do with that. Ooh, mm-mm-mm. But I, what I remember, though, when I was a kid is is when, um I know when Biggie, when um Biggie um had passed, everybody blamed Diddy. And, you know, they were supposed to be close, and, you know, Diddy had him on Bad Boy, he's producing him, and, yeah, so, now I'm, like, you know, looking at that just, like, wow. But, yeah, it's crazy, child. What do y'all think about this? Okay, what y'all think about all of this stuff with Kim Porter and Diddy? So, Porter's father told Rolling Stone he was disgusted by a hotel surveillance video from 2016 obtained by CNN that showed the 54-year-old dragging Ventura, 
Okay, so he said it made him wonder whether his daughter suffered similar A-B-U-S-E during her 13-year relationship with the music mogul. And what's more, former Bad Boy rapper Mark Curry told the outlet of Porter's relationship with Diddy. I remember Kim used to go through a lot of stuff. If you live around them, you get to see the toxic relationship. I think every relationship he had that I experienced him, that I experienced around him was like that. Oh, that's very telling. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this. Okay, this is just too much. Okay, do you think he has something to do with her untimely demise? Kim Porter, do you think that? Put it in the comments, let me know. Um, everything is alleged, honey, okay? Um, and I will check you guys out. I'll check you guys out in the next video. This is too much, honey.